What's up guys? Welcome back to Reefing for Dummies. In this episode, I want to do a product review of the Bulk Reef Supply 4 stage RODI unit. And I've been using this thing for about two years now and I really like it. It works really good, haven't had any complaints. Um, so let's jump right in. Okay, so here we have the RODI unit that I ordered from BulkReefSupply.com. I purchased these two brute garbage cans. I believe they're 15 gallons each. I use one for collecting my RODI water, my fresh water, and I use another one for salt water that I mix. I just put water in it and then I mix my salt that I have right here in my utility room. I like to use the Reef Crystals. I've had really good luck with it and that's what I've been using, so I stick with that. Um, so right now I am filling it up and I did go ahead and purchase this float valve that we see here from Bulk Reef Supply. And what it does is when the water reaches its top, it'll float and it'll turn off the water. And I have to tell you guys, this has saved me a lot. I mean, I've left this on and forgot about it multiple times and came home and it's always saved me. It's always been off. Um, and I just connected it and drilled it right through the can here and connected it. These lines actually came with the RODI unit. And how this works is, so let's start from the beginning. So I have it plumbed actually into my plumbing for my washer. This is the water. And I actually, actually purchased this split valve from a Y valve from Home Depot with switches. And I can turn it off and on from here. That's the turn it off. And this is the turn it on. And so it goes my inlet, which then goes straight up into the RODI unit into my settlement filter, which you can see I've been, I've been using it for a while and it's collected a lot of, basically this is probably the hard metals and stuff in the water, which then goes over to the Micron filter, which appears to be fairly clean, and then over into my RO, my DI resin. And this is supposed to be color changing. It's supposed to be black, which you see here, and it's supposed to turn blue when it's bad. Um, I have yet to see it turn blue or go bad, and I've had it for about two years, so. This thing lasts for quite a while. Uh, the next thing that you see up here is my uh, DI filter. And this thing should last, they say, years, especially if you have this valve here, which is basically a, it's kind of like a purging system where you, what, do you, what you want to do is after you run this and get your water, I usually run this and purge it, they say for a couple of minutes before turning your system off. And this basically allows your filter to last a lot longer. There you go, since I'm making water, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back. Um, the other thing about this filter that you see is it comes with a gauge and now they say ideal, you want it to be around 60, but definitely about 50, which mine is, I'd say it's, a, it's a, an okay kind of PSI area. And the other thing that this comes with a TDS meter, and now this comes in handy because it allows you to see what's going in and out of your water. So as you can see, it's on the out, it's zero, zero, zero PPMs, so I know that my filters are good. Now if I had this on the in spot, I can see what's going in. Oops. There we go. And you can see the what's going in is zero, so my water must be pretty good. Hmm. I don't know why it's saying error, but usually what happens is when I'm first starting my water, when I have it turned on, I turn this on the in. And what happens when this has been sitting here for a while, the whatever's in the settlement can kind of leach out into the water. So when you turn it on, you're going to see like 35 parts per million coming out of it. So what I usually do is just disconnect this line here and actually kind of run the cold water into my um, washer just to kind of purge that nutrients out of this line until I get about until I read about five parts per million on my TDS meter and then once I see that I'll put a screw it back in and then 
continue filling up the water that you see here. And this makes 75 gallons per day. Uh, I believe they also had an add-on to make it 100 or 125, I believe. Um, but the 75 gallons working great for me because I have a 75 gallon tank. Um, so I haven't had any problems. It's been working really great. I have actually new filter stuff here, um, but I probably won't need them for a while, but we'll see. And I do order quite a bit of supplies from Bulkproof Supply, and I have, and I really enjoy them. I haven't had any problem. One last thing I want to show you guys is the exhaust waste water line actually travels here, and I have this going actually into the drain right here for the washer, and works great. Um, but yeah, this is how I make my water, and I would say for anybody that's still going to the you know your local fish store and getting water, I would I would highly suggest uh, purchasing one of these guys. I mean, it's way more convenient to have clean water and salt water and just mix it yourself. I mean, this is one of the first investments that I made when I got my fish tanks. So cool. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, Subscribe if you want to see more videos, and until next time, guys, keep on reefing.